All right, this one's a proper one. Good morning. Well, finally, we've got ourselves a nice day out here. I've just burned out, burned out at 25 knots the whole way out because it's as good as glass off. Well, it was glassed off in close. It's sort of a little bit ripply out here, but I'm not complaining for a change. I'm not complaining about the weather. Um, it's Tuesday after the whole COVID fiasco from the weekend where we all got locked down for three days. Um, three days are probably the best weather that Perth has seen on a weekend for quite some amount of time. Um, yeah, I wasn't impressed having to sit at home and do some jobs around the house and uh, cut down a tree, hung a gate, dug some holes. But anyway, that's life. We got it a lot better than a lot of other countries in the world where they're locked down for months on end. So three days was not too bad to take. Anyway, I've managed to get myself out here this morning. Haven't really got any plans. I'm just going to kick here on the sunrise. Um, see if I can't get myself a pinky on sunrise as usual for my dinner. And once the sun comes up, I don't know, I might either burn south down there a bit too. I've got a bit of a reef down there that I want to have a look at. Or I might burn out a bit further and see if I can't jig up some demersals. I don't know, I'll see how the plan goes and what this wind does as the sun comes up. Alright, so I've got a half a muley out this side. Ooh stumbled over there half a muley out that side and i've got a daiwa bait junkie out that side a white one um i'm sitting in i don't know that one says 15 meters depends what the swell's saying at the time 16 17 i thought that was more likely i'll show you this one color shows up a bit better i don't know how it goes from 13 meters and we swing out to 15 so I'm kind of right on the edge. Just over here, there's like a big, big bommy. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. There was a big swell that just went through there, which probably helped make things go a bit funny. But there's a big bommy right here. And off the back here, it runs down to 16, 17, out into the 20s in the sand out here. Um, what's that out there? Is that a cray pot or something? That's interesting. There's a cray pot or something just over here, but it's just like a single black float. I might go and have a look at that when I leave. Anyway, look at this. Finally, we got a nice day. Let's hope the fish want to play. There's a bit of northerly in the breeze, which is not my preferred situation, but I'm not complaining today, not complaining at all. This is the best weather I've had for a long time. I'm going to sit back, drink my coffee, watch this sun come up. Hopefully, I'll get a fish. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I was just taking photos for my Instagram, trying to get a bit of a story up because Lee sent me a message asking me what the conditions were like. And this dial of bait junkies just got a smash on the way down. Um, I only cast this out, I don't know, about a minute ago, but they take a while to sink these ones because I've got a really light jig head on it. But this one's a pinky for sure. You can tell by those big head shakes. Um, I haven't got my net ready or anything here. This could be fun. Anyway. Come away from the outboard, buddy. This guy just wants to go underneath my outboard every time. Come on, buddy, come away. Okay. Oh, I might even risk lifting this guy. There you go. Nice little fish. He's got that dial bait junkie family. He's, oh, looks like he's only just in there, actually. Just in there in his mouth. Perfect, I'll measure him up. He could be going home for us tonight. Oh, he's actually in there pretty well. I thought it was only just stuck in there, but it's actually... Well, these are actually quite slimy, these bait junkies.
he's 54 centimetres, he's going home. go again the old dollar bait junkie is on today i saw that getting a couple of little taps there i was just watching it as it was sinking watching the rod tip again it's got big head shakes i would say it's a snapper but it's not really it doesn't really run like a snapper normally would Actually, just shaking its head down there. I think it's a pinky, just not a very big one. There you go. Oh, sick. Got the dollar bait junkie um, spiced up with a crazy Oki from HP Tackle on the head. Just, I don't know, because I can. This guy can go back. Oh wow, the colours of him in the sun. Ugh. That didn't go so well. This one's a proper one. Oh, this one's a real one. The old bait chunky again on its way down. Oh, I don't know if this one is a snapper. That's three nil to the bait chunky now. And this thing's just going about unloading me here. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Come this way. I'm only fishing 20 here, so I don't want to go too hard on him. Although he seems to be going pretty hard on me. Wow. That's what you want for a first run. That was pretty spectacular. Let's see if I can get some ground on this guy. Well, I was just changing my bait on the other rod because like I said, that's, well, this is three, three nil to the, to the plastic over the bait now. And that bait's been soaking for probably half an hour now, so I was just going to change it and put a fresh one on. And then this got absolutely snotted on the way down. Again, my super slow sinking 1.8 TT jig heads. Just gives it that real slow sink, right? Stays mid-water. Just wafting around there in the burley. They just get seen because they're mid-water. They're not sinking on the bottom and all the kelp. They're just mid-water and they get seen. And that's why they get hit. Um, he's not doing much now, whatever it was. I've got a feeling he's not finished yet, but after that run, geez, he was fairly steaming then. Oh, this. Give me some of my line back, buddy. That must have done 50 metres easy. That was fairly smoking. It just feels like a dead weight now. worries me because I feel like this guy's not done at all and he's just getting his energy levels back before he does another crazy run when he sees the boat a couple little head shakes there oh, wow what is this that's really weird It's a heavy fish, heavy fish. It's a 
just shows you there's plenty of good fish to be caught in Perth. If we just do the right thing, only take what we need. Put fish back if you don't need them. Don't take them for your neighbours. Don't take them to feed your dog. There's plenty of good fish in Perth. If we just do the right thing, only take what we need. Treat the fish with a bit of respect. Look after our fishery. We might still be able to do this another 10 years time. Oh, this is a good fish. I think it's a Samson fish. Is it? Oh, no, it's a monster pinky. No, this is a big pinky. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is a real donkey. This could be my best pinky yet, I think. Oh, now I'm nervous. I just want to go real slow on him. Oh, come on. Oh, my goodness me. Wait till you see this thing. Look at that. That is a good pinky. He is a beauty. I'm gonna work really hard to get this guy back in real fast. 90 centimeters, just short of my best. My PB is 92. He's a good fish. I'm gonna quickly whack a tag in this guy and get him back in. Oh, the bait junk is on again. This one's only a small one. Compared to the last one, anyway. I'm just trying to get my other GoPro. My other GoPro went flat. I'm just trying to change the battery in that. And get it set up, because that usually catches the strikes. Uh, the old Hero 9 here gets great footage, but... Hang on, I'm going to clean the lens. It gets great footage, but the, um, the battery life's not that great on it, so you can't just leave it running. So I usually leave the other one running. There's the other one. Again, on the junkie. Sick. He's gone. All right. I'm tempted to actually retire. I don't know, I don't want to retire now. I'm tempted to retire the bait junkie and just get my flyer out since it seems to be happening here today. But, oh, what's going on here? This lure just seems to be absolutely on today. Righto, so I got that mess sorted out. It was just, I don't know, tip wrapped. I don't even know how that happened. It was wrapped around and tied in a knot somehow. I've had to retire my, I've had to retire the bait junkie. He got a bit ripped up. I don't know if you can see. He got a bit ripped up and he wasn't sitting too well on the hook. So there's my lucky dog bait junkie. That's, I think that's five fish that, that scored now, or four fish. Four fish in a row, so that's right. I'm happy to retire that one. I stuck another one out on that side there because um, it seems to be doing the damage. And I've got a fly out on this side here. I don't know, for better or for worse than how stupid or smart this might be. Um, I'm just letting it sink sink at the moment now because obviously you cast the fly and it sits on top for a while and it takes a while for that line to sort of swing it down and get it down to some sort of depth so I've just got it in a holder just here letting it sink a little bit and then I'll twitch back up through the twitch back up through the belly and cast it back out and let it sink again so it's all a bit hard to do when I'm holding on to a camera at the same time Luckily. It's not small either. Oh jeez, it's hard to turn fish on fly. <laughs> There's just no power in these rods at all. What's this? A little shark or something, I think. Ooh. I think 
this might be a little shark. moving anyway, I was thinking it was, it was all over and I was considering going out a bit deeper and having a jig for some demersals and I put this thing with whatever this is it's got a bit of power down low there I didn't really get a good look at it it kind of looked sharkish to me, it didn't look like a snapper but I don't know it's slugging it out down deep if it was a shark I think it probably would have bit me off by now I've only got 15 pound. I've only got a 15 pound litre on this too. This is only a 7 weight fly rod. No, uh, 7, 8 weight. Um, I've modified it. Last time I used my fly rod, all the fly boys got on board and had a crack because it's got a butt on the fly rod. I put a butt on the fly rod so I can store it in the rod holder for the boat. No other reason than that. Just much easier to stand up in the rod holders because that's how I store my fly rods. How I store all my rods. And also, a lot of purists. These flies take a while to sink sometimes on little fishing two rods, so I like to be able to put it in a holder while the fly's sinking down. claim to be a fly fisherman so it's not a hard budget set up or anything in fact I've had this rod for nearly 20 20 years Abu Max rod I've had for probably 20 years yeah it's a little shark Bait junkies off as well now. <laughs> Alright, I just want to cut this guy off now. I'll give you guys a quick look at him. There he is, nice little shark on fly. Oh, I might have been able to get that fly out of my shark. Oh, no, nah, he's gone, pinged off. Alright, that's probably a good thing. Alright, let's see what the bait junkie's got. <laughs> this bait junkie is on today. First time I've used dial bait junkies and I'm impressed. Uh, I don't know, here's the bait junkie, just the plastic, I don't know. The Lord knows the meal he's had me for touch today though. to the bait junkie, he can go back in. I don't know what's going on. I'm tempted to move, but the fishing seems to be on here. I caught a shark. I don't know whether you guys saw that or not now because the GoPro was on bloody time lapse. So I don't even know if that filmed. I bloody hope it did. I sure hope I've got my big one on film because I'll be angry if I didn't. But I don't know, the Daiwa bait junkie just can't do any wrong with it today. Spiced up with HP tackle, lazy Oki on the head. Just, I don't know, just because it looks cool. Um, I was going to leave, but I don't know, the swell's running pretty high and I don't think I'm going to bother with the inshore reefs. 
and I don't know if it's worth wasting the fuel to go out wide. I've already got snapper in the esky and the bite's going on here, so it seems like a pointless to sort of move. So I might just stay here for another 20, see what happens. Right, I've decided it seems like I'm having a reasonably lucky day today. I'm going to wind up and I'm going to head out a bit, probably into the 30 somewhere, and I'm do a bit of jigging. I got it on a metal jig here, just like a slow fall, slow fall sort of jig from Free Chef's Tackle. Um, this is 100 grams. I'm just going to head out to the 30s. I don't really know what I'm doing. I've got no real ground out there. You guys know I don't really do much of the deep sort of stuff. Um, 30 meters is not even really deep, but we'll go out. We'll have a look. Have a, do a bit of jigging. Maybe pick up a baldy or something. Give it a crack anyway. All right. So I'm out here in 30, 31 meters, I think. No spot, nothing special. Just pulled out. There's a line of pots not far behind me there. I thought this will do just here. I don't want to fish on the pots and get tangled up. Got my slow pitch jig from Three Chefs Tackle. Just drop it to the bottom. Let's see what's up. Hopefully we can come up with something. Yeah. <coughs> fish on. It's not huge. It's not small. <clears throat> Let's see what we got here. Oh, it's putting up a decent show. What is it? Oh, you're joking. Tell me I'm getting pinkies out here as well. Yep. <laughs> there you go. Pinky on the three chefs. It's not exactly what I came all the way out here for. Could have caught pinkies in short. Anyway, hopefully this guy goes back easy enough. <laughs> oh well, let's see if I can't get a jewelry or a baldy next. Alright, got something else here. Falling down there. I've been out here for about, I don't know, an hour or so. Just jigging this three chefs up and down. Uh, it's a nice day. I kind of find jigging a bit boring to be fair. I know some people get into it. I guess if I had some spots that were loaded with fish and we could just go out and jig them up, it'd be all right. But it's the whole, ex the, the whole exploring thing that I find a bit too boring. Oh, it's another snapper. I just can't get away from pinkies, eh? There he is. Little pinky on the free chef's jig. He can go back. I don't know, I might give it another half an hour and then I'm going to bail in while the going's still nice. It still looks like it's going to be a nice run in if I go while it's like this. Um, I don't know. The breeze is forecast to come in about 10 30 11. i'll give it another half an hour see how it goes that's it for now um i've jigged around for a good couple of hours uh two small pinkies was all i could come up with the pinkies just seem to be following me i was really hoping for a dewy or baldy but so be it uh the weather's going to be nice tomorrow and i'm off and so is lee so no doubt i'll be back out tomorrow if you like our stuff, stay tuned. Hopefully we'll get more fish, possibly tomorrow morning. Otherwise, uh, subscribe, put in your comments below, and I'll see you in the next episode.